Hi student, today I will continue our lesson lesson eleven point two linear motion graph. Okay, let's see this one topic. Okay, we're talking about the information about the data of the motion. So that means we just refer the graph, then we know the motion of the moving object. So from here we separate by two type of the graph. The first one we call it this a uh, displacement time graph. Another one is a velocity time graph. Okay, let's see the example. Okay, displacement time graph, we just refer the y-axis. When you see there's a displacement versus time, so this one we call it as a dt graph. So another one also same. So you just label with the v velocity. So this one we call it as a vt graph. Okay, now we need to go through one by one. Okay, let's see the first one. This one is a displacement time graph. So I want to describe the motion of the boy. Okay, let's see the first part. Okay, we got separate by the time and also separate by the displacement. So this one is an info. The gradient of the dt graph actually there's a velocity. Okay, how we know there's a velocity? That means when you do the calculation for gradient, actually you take the y over the x. Y is meter, x is a s. So that means meter per second actually there's a velocity. Okay, now we go through the first part. Okay, OA. Okay, part of the OA, you find it the line should be the incline. So incline means they got gradient. Okay, now we try to find the gradient first. Okay, OA, the gradient is a 50 over 2. So I get it, that's a 25 ms negative 1. So another word, I can say the velocity of this one graph is a 25 ms negative 1, O to A. So we can say there's a uniform velocity from 0 to 2. Uniform is how many? That means 25. From the 0 to 2 second, the boy is moved with the velocity 25. Okay? Then we continue to talking about the displacement of the boy. The boy is moved 50 meter from O to A with the uniform speed. So this one is an info. So that means when the question asks about motion, we just can answer either velocity, either you say about the acceleration. So we cannot mention there's a fast or slow. Now we go to second part. Okay, second part is a part A to B. Can you find it as a flat? Okay, when you find it as a flat means we cannot find any gradient. Okay, we can say the gradient equal to the zero. So that means if I say the gradient equals zero, understood velocity of uh, the object move from A to B must be zero. So from here, uh, there's the explanation. A, B, the gradient equals zero. So the velocity also zero from two to eight second. Now the boy, what happened? There's a rest. That means the boy just walk until 50 meter, then the rest ready. Okay, the rest how long? From 2 seconds to 8 seconds. So that means the boy just rest for 6 seconds. Okay, part number 3, there's a B to C. So B to C, you can see they incline back again. They go up again. So that means this one situation means the boy start to move. Okay, start to move and also velocity increase. Okay, now we check it. Okay, BC the gradient is, we take 100 minus 50, Y1 minus Y2. Okay, X1 also minus X2. So that means the X1 is a 12, then the X2 is a 8. So I find it, my answer still positive. That's a 12.5. Okay, so this one we can say gradient. We also can say that is a velocity. So from here, the velocity uniform from the 8 to 12. Okay, this one 8 to 12, the velocity is how many? 12.5 ms negative 1. So from here, we can say the boy now move 50 meter again from the B to the C. So after that, the speed must be uniform. Okay, then we go to the second last part. There's a C to D. So C to D, can you see the slope is go downwards? When the slope go downwards, mean you find the gradient sure got negative. Okay, we can say about C to D, actually the meaning is the boy is moved in opposite direction. Opposite direction means they go back to the original position. There's a zero. 
So now we need to uh, write the coordinate first. After that, we do the calculation. Okay, B to C, the gradient is 100 minus 0. Okay, but it's a 12 minus 16. So this one, we get the answer is a negative 25 ms, negative 1. So from here, the velocity is a negative and uniform, but they're moving in opposite direction from the 12 to 16. So that means when you get negative from the displacement time graph, means the object already moved in opposite direction. Now the boy is turned back when 100 meter to starting point with the uniform speed. So this one is an explanation for the boy. When they go to the sea, they what happen? They want to turn back. Turn back how long? 100 meter. Okay, during 4 seconds. Then they go back to the original location. Okay, so that means we finish the displacement time graph. Now we need to go and see it's a velocity time graph. Okay, here got one of the info, you must remember. Okay, area under VT graph. Okay, that means when you got this one triangle, OA is it. So, all below the OA line, that one we call area under. Okay, gradient, how to find from this one graph? Uh, when we find the gradient, this become acceleration. Okay, just now, displacement time graph, you find the gradient, that's a velocity. Okay, now for the VT graph, you find the gradient, that one is a acceleration. So that means from the VT graph, we got two functions to change it. You can change become displacement. You also can change become the acceleration. Okay, now we're going to see every part motion, how to explain. Okay, first part, 0 to A. Okay, 0 to A, we find here there's a velocity. So I can say the velocity increases from 0 to A. Okay, so this one is the info. So we check it. OA, gradient is 8 over 5. So 8 over 5. So from here, I get it. There's a 1.6 ms negative 2. Okay, now I want to ask, this one gradient 1.6, that's a from 0 to A, is it? So is it any point? Any point here, the gradient also same? Your answer is yes. Okay, because you are straight line. So any point just on the line, you find the gradient should be the same. So from here, we get it. There's a 1.6. Okay, there's a 1.6 ms, negative 2. Okay, now we're going to see the next one. Okay, the explanation again for the velocity increase. Uniform, 0 to 5. Increase how many? 1.6. Now the acceleration of the motorcycle, there's a uniform, 1.6. Okay, for this one slope, we can explain velocity increase. You also can say uniform acceleration. Okay, next, there's a A to B. Okay, A to B is a flat. So, is it we can say there's a rest? The answer is wrong because this one is a VT graph. VT graph, you cannot say this one should be the rest unless this one is a displacement time graph. Okay, now we answer A, B actually is no gradient, is it? We can say gradient equals zero. Okay, gradient is a zero. Then the velocity, there's a uniform constant, 5 to 10 seconds. Constant how many? Constant 8 ms, negative 1. So acceleration for the motorcycle, actually there's a zero. Because here we don't have any gradient. Okay, we go to last, B to C. The slope is come down. Okay, this one is a VT graph. So you do mix. Uh, just now it's a DT graph. If the displacement time graph, when you just come down, we say opposite direction, is it? So for the velocity time graph, we cannot say there's an opposite direction. We just can say the velocity drop. From the B drop until to the C. Okay, using the time how long? Using the time for 5 seconds. Okay, so we need to explain the BC part. Okay, BC, the gradient is a negative and also uniform with, okay, we do the calculation. There's a 8 minus 0, 10 minus 15. So we get the answer is negative 1.6. Okay, so from here, we need to convert the gradient to velocity and also acceleration. Okay, so from here, we get it. The velocity decreases uniformly from the 10 to 15. Okay, so that means when it just drop the velocity that will decreases uniform. 
Okay, that's why they become one straight line to come down. Now the motorcycle is moving with negative acceleration or uniform deceleration. Okay, so this one situation means the motorcycle moving in negative acceleration. Because you get the answer is a negative. So that means the motorcycle moving with the negative acceleration or you say uniform deceleration. Okay, last part, there's a C to D. C to D actually is don't have any velocity. Okay, so we just answer. Gradient equals zero. So that means the velocity also equals zero lah. Okay, motorcycle is stationary, never move. Acceleration of the motorcycle is zero. Okay, understand ah? So that means now we go to the next. Okay, displacement time graph. This graph they show about the linear motion for the remove control of the toy car. So what's the displacement of the toy car after the first four seconds? Means the four seconds before that. Okay, what is the displacement? So we can straight forward to show the line in the uh, diagram. Okay, I show number four, four seconds. Then I go to read what's the displacement. So the answer is a six meter. Okay, so hopefully you understand how to analyzing the graph. Okay, number two, they ask about what's the velocity of the toy. Okay, repeat again, velocity means gradient. Eh? Okay, from the third to the fifth. Okay, from the third to the fifth. So what we need to do, we draw the line first. Okay, from the third, then they go to the C. Then after that, it's from the five, they go to the eight. Okay, so this one is a what I think about that, the three to five second. Okay, we straightforward, go and see what is a, when three seconds, what is a displacement? When five seconds, what's a displacement? After that, we need to do the calculation. Okay, let's see the velocity, how to do the calculation. So you must have the two-point coordinate. Okay, so we start to show you velocity equal to the gradient of the DT graph. So velocity of the toy car is 8 minus 4, y1 minus y2. Okay, after that is a 5 minus 3. So I get the answer, there's a 2 ms negative 1. Okay. So this one is a calculation. Straightforward from the diagram, you need to find out the coordinate. Then we do the gradient calculation. Okay, the next one, there's a graph again, DT graph also. They ask you what's the displacement of the motorcycle after four seconds. Okay, we still need to draw. Okay, so from here we get it. The displacement is a 15 meter. Okay, we go to the next one. Now the graph they show the motion of the motorcycle along the straight line. So what is the velocity of the motorcycle from 6 to the 12? So first step, we draw the line first. 6. Okay, then after that, we got 12, is it? Okay, so from here, there's a 6. Then we straightforward go to the 12. So from here, we need to do the calculation to find the gradient. So velocity equal gradient. So velocity of the motorcycle equal. Okay, that's a 15 minus 0. Okay, another one is a y-axis. That is a, a 6 minus 12. So my answer is a negative 2.5 ms, negative 1. So at the bottom, you help me to bracket to write. Okay, negative stand for object move in opposite direction. Okay, so this one is a displacement time graph. Okay, now we're going to see the VT graph again. The motion of the ball can be represented by the graph. Okay, first part, Y axis chain become velocity. Then at the bottom should be the time taken. So the first one, they ask you what is the displacement of the ball in the first four seconds. So we just measure. Lah. This one is a, a four seconds. Then this one is a velocity. But the question, they want to know displacement. So from here, you need to write out all the info first. Okay, this one is the area under the graph. So we see how to show. Okay, displacement equal area under the graph. Okay, because the question says first 4 seconds. So 4 seconds multiply with 1 ms negative 1. Okay, is it the 1 ms negative 1? We're going to check first. 
Okay, area under the graph, 4 seconds. Okay, then the height for the velocity is 1. So finally, I get it. The displacement is a 4 meter. Okay, now we go to second one. Again, the same motion graph. Determine the acceleration of the ball when 8 to 12. So from the 8 to the 12, they want to determine the acceleration. So from here, we need to do the calculation. First, we label. Okay, when 8, then after that as a 12, this one is a 1 triangle. So we need to find the gradient. So from here, acceleration equal gradient, VT graph. Okay, now the acceleration of the ball. Okay, so they start from here. They take number 3. After that, we take 8 over 12. Okay, you can find the acceleration of the ball. You need to find out what is the reading from the graph first. Okay, so from here, the gradient, we take this part. 3. Okay, y axis is a 3. x axis is a 8. So we need to do the calculation. 3 minus 0. Okay, over the 8 the minus by the 12. So from here, I get the answer is a negative 0 0.7 ms negative 2. Okay, now the VT graph that show the motion of the motorcycle. Determine the velocity, the time 4 seconds and 8 seconds. So now we need to find the time. Okay, from this one diagram, V versus time. So normally the 4 seconds, that means now they start to accelerate already. So until the 6 Okay, until the 6, I find it the object already is constant velocity. Okay, let's check it. Okay, number 4, I draw the line. They show is 10. Okay, number 8, I also draw the line. They show about the 15. Okay, so from here, I need to show the okay, calculation. Okay, first one, velocity at 4 seconds. Is it? The first one, 4 seconds, there's a 10 ms negative. One. Okay, when the time is a 8 second, time is a 8 second, then you put extrapolate up, then you go to left. So this one is a so from here we can using this formula also. Okay, first formula at the x second is a 15 ms negative one. Okay, how I get the velocity when 8 second? This one is the answer. We just refer the x axis. Okay, now that means the velocity for 4 seconds. Okay, uh, there is a reading. We straightforward go to read. Velocity 4 seconds. So you draw. This one is a tag. Okay, velocity for the 8 seconds. You also draw. Then you show inside the graph. So that means you can get 2 marks together. Okay, then the second one, the velocity time graph again. They want you to find the displacement in the time interval between 0 to 10. So that means you need to show about area under the graph okay area under the graph okay so from here we can check area under the graph okay we got one of the triangle then after that we got one of the rectangular so from here you want to find area under the graph that means you need to find one by one if not you can using the trapezium formula also can so from here i find the first 10 second so from here this one is a triangle formula half multiplied with the six multiplied with the 15 so another one is a rectangular. So we're using the width multiplied with the length. So there's a 10 minus 6 multiplied with the height. There's a 15. So total is a 105. Then the unit, we just follow the diagram. They're using velocity is m. Then we're using this m. Okay, so this one is the exercise from your textbook 11.2. Formative practice. So you need to copy the question and answer it. So this one answer, uh, after that we will discuss about that. So thank you for your watching.